good to watch it. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I am great, man. I have nice. the the man, the myth, the legend <laughs> in the house. <laughs> well, yeah, we might, we might say legend in the making. Yeah. <laughs> in the making. In the making. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, and last night or this morning, you posted on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's not you. It's me, or it's not me. It's you. It's not me. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> New album is coming out. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to explore that. That's 14 November. That's yeah. this Sunday, right? That's Monday. Monday? Yeah. Well, it won't matter because people will watch this on different days. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah. 14 exactly. November. Exactly. <laughs> New album is coming out. Um, that's mostly what we're going to explore in this conversation. Okay. Um, but we're going to touch on a few other things. And we're going to start off with uh, Ranga, which mm. was your first album. That was 2020. Um, brilliant album, in my opinion. Thank you. Um, in other interviews, you've, you've said that it didn't make as much waves as you and the team expected. Uh -huh. um, and my fascination with that is, why do you think things like that happen? Because, like I'm saying, it sounds brilliant, mm. um, but it just didn't, it didn't do enough for you. It didn't do what Juicy did for you, what I would Juicy say. What did. Yeah. Uh, so, with that project, um, when it came out, I was so excited about it because yeah. it was one of those projects whereby when I started recording, even the first track uh, for that project, it was I was in a space where I knew I was conscious of everything I did at that time, and I actually yeah. knew Uti, Pampani, this transition around me. I was now um, switching into a different, more mature sound than the usual uh, K-chaps. Yeah. So I was so excited because I felt like, okay, this is the sound I've been missing this entire time. And if this I do one. this, if I do this, people <laughs> easily connect because you're not rapping, rapping. Wow, he's so much because you're now like, you know, you have now become a, a mature singer. Yeah. And most people can relate. But then um, I think it was a matter of time. Now that I'm in this position, yeah. um, and, and also Time in, I, in what sense? Please explain that to me. Timing, because if... Uh, I think that also comes from me being uh, an open-minded person and, and me being a, a, a reader. Yeah. You get to realize uh, the whole purpose thing. You, you know, things don't just happen um, because you want them to happen. Yeah. Uh, the universe has its own way of, you know, <laughs> doing... Making things uh, actually making things happen. happen. So I, I believe in time, I believe in, in, in the process. But at that time, I couldn't, I couldn't understand that whole part. I was just like, ah, you know what? I think this is the actual <laughs> this time, is the, one. the right time. <laughs> but then people didn't, um, and didn't appreciate it as much. Or didn't, people didn't notice. If I say appreciate, because the, the ones who noticed appreciated the work. That's what I was actually going to say, because um, <laughs> this is actually funny. We did actually interact about that a, a uh, couple of years ago on Twitter. And I was like, yo, this is a fantastic album. And, and you're on Twitter and you're actually like, yeah, yeah, thought so too. So what I'm going to ask you now is um, you go from, you've worked, you've thought this is the one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't land like that. Mm -hmm. What's next, man? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, um because I'm human, I, I, I lost it a bit at that time. Um, no, I didn't really lose it. What happened was I was just, uh, I, was, I was disappointed, but then it yeah. never stopped me. Uh, it never stopped me from working. And the way I was working now was, it wasn't because I want to do this or I want to, you know, I want to get people to listen. It was more about me now, just feeling it easy when I, when I, when I work. So after that run, I remember we did No Man Kiss. Yeah. Um, and I did that song when I was in a very dark space. You know, but then I was just telling myself that, you know, what, we keep grinding, we keep going. And then we never released that song. Yeah. And I had uh, one of my guys, Kills, he's actually on... Uh, 
my, my, my album. The new album. Out. Yeah, on the new album. I was, I was talking to Kyus this other day, because he used to come to the studio that often. So we were talking, he said, yeah, you just released your project. <laughs> and you're still here, you're still recording. <laughs> What's up? And then I, I, I remember telling him, Guti, I feel like this is now bigger than me. So whatever I'm doing now is to just, we didn't even release most of the stuff we, we recorded. I remember I did uh, Norman Kess at that time. Yeah. I also did uh, Passat Pandemies. It's actually in the new album. And that was done 2020. That was 2020, right? Yeah. So I was in that, that, that dark space, but I just continued to work, which was something I, I really appreciate about myself at that time. Yeah. Uh, even now. So <laughs> right after. Takapinda, uh, we did January, and then January came. January, that's when I started losing it now. So, so January, I was like, ah, nah, I think I've had enough, because... Yeah. <laughs> and by losing it, you mean the motivation to even go into the yeah, studio? Yeah, the, mo the motivation. Yeah. Was, imagine, with the, um, at that time, I was doing my um, free shows. So I, I used to look for those shows to just go get exposure. Yeah. And you're not getting paid. <laughs> so... You go to those shows. I remember I went to a, to a certain club at that time. I was supposed to, to play uh, 31st December, coming mm -hmm. into crossing over. crossing over yeah, to the next year. So um, it's 31, I'm there, and you actually have to hire because it's <laughs> Baba Ghetto. So that you have to bring the whole team because people that side don't know you. So, so you, you need to bring hype. your own. <laughs> <laughs> you need to bring your own squad. Yeah. So I remember I, I, I hired Combi. And that was all the money I had. Imagine. <laughs> so I, I had a Combi. And I was like, yes, yes, a Combi. And then you have to cater for those people as well. Yeah. So you have to, to be there for them. And then we go to that show, which is Sike Koko, Wakunzi. I my DJ Awandi, such chi chi chi. So we we'll try and find a slot for you. you see? And for you, this is this is big because you understand where you're trying to get. You understand yeah. like the kind of don't uh, kind of Yeah, well. you understand the kind of talent you're not. You're If I go in front of these people, if I do one or two items, they will love you. No bonding, my fans. No bonding, you two, three, one, one, nine, And then they kept, you know, dragging, pushing, pushing, pushing. I remember I had people about 10, 9, 8 crossing over. I was out, bro. I was supposed to play 10, 11, traffic in my DJ. And then you're just there. Out. And, and now, like, that time, I know, I'm like, you turn up. Hey. Exactly. Like, People now want to turn up. They no like a new care. guy. They no longer care about you now. <laughs> they just want you, you know, to, 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 to be Oh, man, that was messed place. up. So it was messed up. But then, um, Mangwana, one January, I was looking forward to a session. With, so you didn't uh, even get to perform that I night? I never got to perform that night. Yeah. So, I don't go very far, I don't go to Chema. But then, about about that, you're not so getting was, paid it was, as well. It was really crazy. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard. And then one January, actually, that was now 2021. Yeah. I was supposed to do a session with uh, another female singer. One little girl to Billy for my, you know. So I was supposed to do a session in Papo. So I was looking forward to that. At least I'll start my ear on a good note. Yeah, it's a good recover. Tagu Last recover, night you know, went wrong. Now <laughs> so it was just you know what? Yeah, I think this is happening because you know the, the new year is is something big for me. Yeah. But then one January, I'm waiting for that person. She was supposed to come to the studio. No show, no nothing. And then your phone is not even going through. <laughs> and then that person hits you up Le later on that day at Omaneru. The person hits you up. She's like, ah, you know what? Ah, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, Ah, no, what happened actually was I actually saw uh, status of one of my industry guys. Yeah. She, he had uh, <laughs> this, this female person I was supposed to do. Yeah, this artist she was a supposed session, to work a with. Session, uh, a session with. So he is that artist. Uh, I'm just looking at, at the status like, okay. So 
you never, you never, you, you did, you failed to communicate to tell yeah. me what you were doing A, B, C, D. The least I wanted was at least you, for you to communicate. I can't and make then, it. Um, then I just never communicated. And then I was there like, I think this is enough for me. But, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is <laughs> it was too me. much. Yeah, yeah too man, much. like from, from what you're saying, like 31st, we're told at that L. Oh. Now on the first, and there's something about a new year, like you're saying, yeah. is like, like especially, especially like the first day. You 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 wanna that's that's when you find out with the people who wanna start the year. Either you are praying, either you're working out maybe for two days. But people wanna wanna my resolution. My resolution. <laughs> you know. People wanna 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 begin their year in in that good note. In that space. Then, yeah. So yeah, I, I felt demotivated at that time and we, we 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 never really did anything in January. It was just more of us, you know, goofing around. Until we sat down and reminded each other, me and my producer, gee, um, this is not where we, we want to be, you know. Yeah, after, and who's this all producer? After the sacrifices was done, Futronic. Futronic, yeah. Okay, okay. So that was, that was the, uh, that was the whole ones would be, you know what, let's just focus more on the craft and, you know, try something. And I, I remember I was the one who was, uh, behind that idea mostly for some reason I just felt like you know after everything that had happened uh, we can always bounce back and recover so yeah uh, Juicy was the first song that I recorded after that conversation I came back to Rapinam studio and we 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 took us some of that space where we try to avoid noise from you know whatever it was that was going on and time was some space to take and that's that's when we did juicy um, so juicy was just meant to um, just give people you know like something to listen to while yeah. they're working on bigger things yeah so that's why it came out like that it was just a listening session but we just want to give people the people who care at least something to listen to and then apparently <laughs> Fortunately, yeah. it, 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 it blew up and everyone started talking about it. Um, and yeah, I, I guess everything changed from there. So, so the interesting thing about Jews, like you're saying, is um, <clears throat> for people who didn't follow you, it was like, who the hell is this guy? Mm -hmm. And he's like extremely talented, right? Um, on your end, how quick is that transition from you releasing Jews to almost the entire nation knowing who k Chaps is like how how quickly does that happen and mm -hmm. does that like also mess up your life in any way because like you're saying it's a fortunate thing because yeah it's what you've been working uh towards for over five years over at five that years, point yeah, right yeah but were there any negatives from that transition as well um i remember because how juicy blew up yeah uh, it blew up in, in less than 24 hours. Almost everyone <laughs> is talking about it. Two days. So I'm coming from struggling to have 12,000 views was my, my uh, previous song, yeah. that, it, uh, that, that, I, that I just released. It had 12,000 views and that was my highest at that time. So you're coming from that and then you have a song that does... Um, a hundred thousand. It did a hundred thousand in two days, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. and then two hundred thousand in four days. So it was that <laughs> quick, you know. It yeah. was that quick. Goody. everyone is talking about it. Uga vura WhatsApp. Everyone, everyone status, status has that. My so covers. My covers. My covers. <laughs> I was the conversation. Is it celebs? Is it celebs? <laughs> everyone. I was. I, I. I became a topic. Yeah. So, for me, I feel like as much as that was great to just realize it, also now people are paying attention. It's something I've been praying for. It's something I want. Yeah. The way it came now, it 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 sort of messes you up a bit, because you everyone is calling you. You are you are needed there. You are needed here. Every, oh, I, mean, I can imagine so interview requests as interviews, well. Interviews, you know. <laughs> So that's like a day of just doing that. And when you finally go back home and when you sleep, you want to turn off your phone, you want to switch off your phone, and you just want to <laughs> you know, blow off some steam. 
those and that's how I feel at that time. But you, you know, I, I really love this, but at the same time, the pressure. Yeah. The pressure. And then you start calculating, with, okay, so after this, what's my next move? Oh, yeah, there's yeah. pressure in that sense as well, right? So you, 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 you know, this is not just something that just, that, that just happened. It's something that was meant to happen because uh, we've been grinding, because we've been praying for it. And, you know, so when it happens that way, you don't want to be stuck in that. You want to continue. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a huge risk, Doing man. It. Yeah, it's it's something that happens to artists, and it's so heartbreaking. We've only done one song, and, and then, then that's that. So far, I am that. So it's it's scary <laughs> because you, you don't really know good, as much as you are going to work, you don't really know good, how are you going to to sustain. Right. <laughs> because at the end of the day, uh, you put in the work, but it it, it it's not you know see, you you don't just wake up and say I want to create a hit song. And you don't get or to you decide. You don't get to decide. All you do is just try. You just do whatever you you, you do the uh, you do the most. Yeah. And you put your heart into it. You put your everything into it, and just hope. It it it, I, I, it, it I, hits know, the right place. It gets to the right people, <laughs> to the right places. So yeah, I think that's 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 some of the reason. That's that's one of the reason why I I was now feeling that pressure but yeah i managed to maneuver from it because i started um instead you go to no focus on social media or on whatsapp talking to these many people yeah you give yourself time to think you give yourself time to be you and you know you go back to family you go back to the people who were with you before <laughs> people everything just to yeah. Just to make sure that your mind is, is is in the right place. Yeah. So so, so that's actually something I was, I was actually going to ask you about. Could you, <clears throat> you you strike me as a as a very introverted person. Hey. Um. One of your more recent captions on on Instagram was something along the lines: "These days, mm -hmm. I I sit alone. I don't remember the last parts." Um. And that also kind of made me wonder, could you? that seems like an important part of you right mm -hmm. but now you're like this superstar mm -hmm. <laughs> how hard is it to to capture that kind of solitude how do you go about like creating that that peace in your life um so i have i have like i have two places that i that i that, that really uh get my my my, my juices flowing okay this is me yeah I love being in the studio. I love being in the booth. And whenever I'm at the studio, usually I don't go karam booth alone. Sometimes not even doing anything, just sitting there. Oh, you're in. just there. And you're now not I'm recording. Mm -hmm. I'm not even recording because it's a place that I'm so used to and it makes me comfortable. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel at home. It's my sanctuary. And then um, when it comes to the solitude part, I always try to make sure each and every day I get uh, I get I get my I get some me time and it might be ten minutes, it might be twenty minutes. I wanna be alone. Yeah. And now it's worse because I wanna be alone in a dark place. <laughs> <laughs> like in a in a dark room, not dark places. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay, like literally like a literally dark room. literally a, yeah. a, a, a dark room. Yeah, that's 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 where I'm trying. That's that's where I want to be these days, um, and it's not like I'm I'm thinking a lot. Or you know, yeah, sometimes but sometimes you just want to, you know, reflect, do introspection. That's where that's where I get most of my ideas, especially yeah. when it comes to writing, because when I'm in that space, nature of philosophy. It's a it's a moment of just shutting out everything, you know. But you you block the world and just focus on you. I feel like it's very important. Yeah. So yeah, I, I do that. I always find time to yeah. be alone. Yeah, I I, I, I I love that. I I a bit like that myself, <laughs> so <laughs> I I can relate a bit there. Um, and so now let's get closer. We're gonna skip Gehenna because yeah, that was a huge hit. 
Um, we're going to come back to it in a, in a different uh, aspect. All right. um, but um, as far back as, as February, there's an interview you did around February and you're saying there's an album on the way. <laughs> the album is done. Uh -huh. And if I remember well, you actually said it's in the final touching stages. Uh -huh. uh, and we're only getting it now. Now we're in November, right? Um, what was happening between February and, and November? Is that like the natural course of things mm -hmm. or something was delaying my works or you, you scrapped the whole thing and you came back to the drawing board? What was happening? That, that's, that's a very important question. Yeah. Um, so originally, Gehenna was supposed to be the lead single of my, my album. Yeah. And the title wasn't even, uh, it's not me, it's you, it was something different. Yeah. So... When I was working on that, we had the material. We were ready to deliver the music. Um, so when Gaena came out, we were actually excited. To, all right, so people appreciate Another this hit. one. So, <laughs> so let's 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 quickly give them something something. Um, let's quickly give them the body, the entire body of work. Yeah. But then, something kept on telling me it's it's not there. Because when I listen to the when I listen to my my, my albums, and I listen to so many albums, yeah. and whenever I listen to an album, I wanna, I want you to, like take me, somewhere. Yeah. I want to understand the artist. Could you, where were you when you did this? And I felt like the the, uh, the album Rangatina at that time, like the content we had was not enough to. Was, uh, yeah, to take me to through take, that to, journey. To take people through that journey of yeah. actually understanding who k Chaps is. And after understanding k Chaps, you actually go, you actually get deeper into Kudakwash as a yeah. person. Yeah. So that's the kind of album I, I, I've been wanting to give people. And I have, most of my friends are actually upset. You, you're still <laughs> taking this much time. What's up, Gigi? But then people, <laughs> people who really understand me yeah. um, knew because it's necessary for me to take this long. It's not like I did that on purpose, but it, it, it's, I was just understanding the process. I just yeah. understood the process. Which is, let me take my time. Let me give people a, a piece of me, you know, because that's the most important part at the end of the day. Yeah. So... It's only coming now because I feel like I've managed to do that. So, so, so what I'm getting from that is there's a lot of work that actually did exist in the in in that album that was supposed to come around February March. Mm -hmm. That's now there uh, since then. Yeah, some of the records yeah. because you always have like one or two of 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 uh, one or two records from from your that, old stuff. Yeah, that that makes sense. You know, you have to do okay, but. And at some point, you, act, you, 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 you actually get to know, to, to understand some of the, the works you have done by recent. Like what I was saying, I have songs from 2020. That, that are in the album. Are in the album. Because in Papu, you couldn't understand that record, but now it speaks to you uh, in, in, a, in, a, yeah, in a more broader way. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I and, think that's, and, that's, that's the process. And before we started, you actually told me that um, Gehenna, which you said like was supposed to be the lead single and a mm -hmm. part of this album, is actually no longer a part of, of the album. So yeah. it's part of that as well. With it. It's not was speaking Ipapu, what Ipapu, you Ipapu, want. Ipapu, Ipapu, it, was, it was nice listening to it, and it, 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 it belonged in that previous in that album. Project. But now, I, oh, I, I, I won't lie, I wanted to, to bring it back this new project but also you, you I'm actually realizing that I don't think it's it's supposed to be in it but I might as well bring it back I don't know but for now uh, <laughs> for now it's yeah. it's hanging in there it's hanging in there no fantastic man it's my five we'll we'll listen to what, what <laughs> whatever you decide to <laughs> to deliver to us <laughs> and so you mentioned something very important there. You you mentioned that you want to um, give people kuda kwashe, uh -huh. um, which is important because your music as is is uh -huh. a very vulnerable music, right? Mm. <laughs> it is, yeah. 
you've um, removed a lot of layers. You've, you've exposed yourself um, mm -hmm. a lot um, in your music. So I then wonder which side of um, K-Chaps are we actually going to be experiencing on this project? Or at least what were you, what were you trying to show us when you were actually making and compiling the album? Um, so on this one, like I said, with the after after the whole juicy uh, transition, yeah, you know, I I at some point I actually became depressed. I was anxious. You know, I didn't know what to do next. At some point, I was just clueless. At some point, I knew what I wanted to do, but kutosha, <laughs> you know, the kutosha the the right motivation to do it because. Brands are good, like there's, yeah. there are so many people all over, and you know now there are so many new faces. Footy and Bunny Mama, Mama. Everyone is a fan. Everyone is a fan. <laughs> Everyone is a friend. Everyone you know. believes you're the most talented being on the planet. Exactly. Even when you end up at the end, when you when you just want to make it a normal family time. I never did any of my fans. But the version of the fans, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't hold a conversation without bringing K-Chaps my ear. Yeah. So, yeah. as much as, as much as all that is nice, you know, so I started to at some point, you know, so we take a cuckoo, but it becomes too much. Yeah. And you are creative, you are supposed to think so it, it becomes more of that. So when it comes to this project, I the reason why I felt like it was short was I wanted to express all that. I wanted to let people know um, what I've been through, part time and how I've been trying to to not see, to maneuver. So yeah. yeah, that's like the first part of that album. And when it comes to uh, the relationship side. It, it also comes back to that with the way you become this person that everybody knows. It also comes with, you know, the females. But oh, then yeah. when they come, <laughs> it's hard to know who, to, who is the right what, one. What does so, this mean? <laughs> what does this mean exactly? So you are in a relationship, nasty, and then probably after uh, two months, after a month, you realize which is nah, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. And you go up a period of two that way we at that time. But then there are so many people foot after you. So it's confusing. Foot you don't you don't know how to handle it yeah. well. <laughs> All you can do is pray about it. All you can do is just remember where you're trying to get to and just remember the kind of person you are without all, all that noise. Right. So that's 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 me on this album just taking you on a more mature, um, taking you to, to sh trying to show you the mature side of K, the mature side of Kuda. Yeah. To, uh, this is what I have in my life right now. And this is how I'm trying to protect what I have. Or this is how I'm trying to make sure that I, you know, I, I, I sustain. Yeah, I hear that. And and so it's interesting you, you mentioned that in regards to, to relationships because when I was going through your Instagram just mm -hmm. just trying to pick up some points, I was seeing in your comment section and the amount of times I saw marry me in your comment section, I was like, yo, this is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is crazy. This is like a crazy way to live. But um beyond that, right? Um so album is on the way, you've explained what the album is about. Mm -hmm. Are there any collaborations we should be looking forward to on this project, or it's more of, of you? What, what's the approach? Uh, this one, Dagatra, by all means, to, to, to bring in as, as much people as I could. Yeah. Because can you, can you speak about maybe some of those people and why you chose them? Yeah, because um, when you get probably to a certain level, uh, it's not all about you, you know. And in my 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 one of my, my biggest dreams is to I, I want a Grammy, I want um, I want a BT, I want a NAM, and all those things as you go I need of your energy alone. You need to learn from other people as well so that's yeah. that's that's part of the reason why i decided to do my collab at one day on this one so i have 
Um, I did a song with T Gwanzi. What I really Fantastic go for, guy. what I really go for when it comes to these uh, collabs, it's, it's, it's a feeling, you know, and especially if I, if I did the song, there's a certain feeling, you know, I, I feel like this person belongs to this song. Uh, Ningi will belong to this song. Yeah. And you actually feel, I can't finish it on my own. You might be in a position too, but for the sake of to, music, you, shake it, yeah, <laughs> for, for music's sake, you need to, you know, you need to allow other people into that space, into your space. Yeah. So T. Gonzi, we did a fantastic record. I did a record with Junior Brown as well. Ooh. It's actually coming out tonight. I don't know if this is being aired now. No, this is no. being aired a couple <laughs> of days after, yeah. but it, it's probably... We then refer to it as the Junior Brown you've been hearing the past few days. Exactly. <laughs> so Junior Brown, uh, T. Gonzi, Holy Ten. Um, yeah. Holy Ten is a great artist. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I had all to. of these guys and, really fantastic. Uh, Gemma, Gemma is amazing. We did yeah. a special record with Gemma, and it's it's really nice. I did a, a song with Kills, that's uh, one of my homeboys. So, oh yeah, you mentioned him earlier, isn't it? I mentioned him it? earlier. Yeah. So yeah, Q's is also on the previous album, Vanga. Yeah. So because he's super talented, we had to do another record. So yeah, that's another record that's that's amazing. I also did a record with Nati O. I think that's <laughs> a bit expected, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the most talented guys who is the tal. I think. One of the best albums that ever came out. Yep. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a Nati O album. Just so, a sensational piece of work, yeah. Sensational. Yeah. So, yeah, Nati O. Nati O is like a big brother to me, a big brother of mine. So, I had to. Song is um, yeah. like that song I was telling you from 2020. We we, we perfected it now and we just. And then you added him on to him. Same thing that happened, but Be My Girl, that was. I think in twenty. Oh, that was way back, and then that we just you know okay perfected and it came out. So we did the same thing with uh, this for your album for, now. For, for for the album. Uh, it's amazing. That's it's, it's that's fantastic. Really nice. I can't wait, man, because all these names, man. Uh, yeah. Any any person who um, can get Junior Brown in the studio again is a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, really hard to that. Gina, Gina Brown is a legend. Gina man, Brown is, is special. I got to hang out with him when we were shooting the video yeah. for the song we did. And you, we've been hanging out a lot because now it's more than just, you know, a studio Music. relationship. It's, yeah. it's more like a brother kind of relationship. And I really respect how the guy uh, carries himself and how humble he is and how he's open to work. Uh, he did a song with Saint Flo. Yeah, on, so on the album. You can, you can actually talk that this is someone who is um, just doing it for for for, for, for love, love, you know. Exactly. So yeah, <laughs> yeah I also yeah. did a record with um, Denzel Soka. He's he's up and coming, yeah. and he's he's someone to look out for. We he, he he was part of the production of. Um, Setting a car, this this other record that we did, and yeah, it's special. Yeah, that's that's fantastic, man. Mm. That's that's good to hear. And then, um, so what I'll ask you is, and this extends to I, I suppose your your producers as well, who you can then mention. Um, is <clears throat> the thing with collaboration is mm. like an album is quite important, man. It's mm. <laughs> it's extremely important, and you're you're bringing someone onto it. Like you said, yeah. um, you feel, okay, I think this person can add to it musically. Mm -hmm. um, during that process, because I would naturally assume that working with other people can be tough. Mm -hmm. uh, they might not have the same vision that you have. Uh -huh. um, how do you then navigate that, the actual process of working together with, with, with okay. other people? Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's an important question. When it comes to working with other artists, I feel like it's more of just um, understanding that situation. Which we are two different people, so obviously yeah. we have two different uh, mindsets at some point. So what what you really need at that time is you can go to open-minded. 
you know. Because if you come to studio and then you you whatever you say is is, is, is what you've done. <laughs> As Shabude. So you need to especially when, when we invite artists to studio, it's 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 always about that you know I invited you here, so it means good is when you so you have something that I don't have. So yeah. I want you to, you know, express yourself in a way you could ask when we to Shandana K chaps, but just be yourself. Yeah. So I think that's 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 always the way to go when it comes to collabs. Be yourself and uh, be humble, you know, accommodate people at the end of yeah. the day. And also be honest. I think that's very important. Just be honest. Good day with the you know, post on yeah. <laughs> but there is a nicer way of saying it without offending the next person. But in in now they expect the same thing from you. At the end of the day, I'm working with Junior Brown. He's a legend. He has so many things. So I know I'm going to teach Yeah. So um I should be able to, you know To just receive allow that. those things. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's that, that at the end of the day it makes me grow. It makes the next person grow. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 interesting. And then the the collaboration that interests me the most, um, from the outside looking in before I got a chance to talk to you, um, is uh you and Mitch Uta. So there's a bias uh -huh. there because Mitch is a guy <laughs> I already know. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's a guy I already know. Um, Mitch is a great guy, yeah. <laughs> Mitch is a great guy. Um his talent behind the camera, behind the mic, is also sensational. Mm. And you guys have like a special working relationship. Uh, two of the three songs you've made together mm. hit one million views on YouTube. Mm. Um, Gehenna is one of them. I didn't write down the other one. Is it, is it Juicy Uchapa. as well? Uchapa. Yeah. Exactly. Those two hit. Um, and, yeah. and all three are sensational in terms of just like the visual storytelling to accompany your music, right? Mm. Um, how did you guys start working together and and why do you think everything you touch tends to gold? Like why is that the case? Uh, so funny funny thing is when you showed the the, the recent video um, for Sorry Boys, yeah. We we actually had that conversation. Why and Junior Brown was asking, I remember, to why Mitch all the time? And uh, by the way, Mitch did Uchapa, he did Keena, yeah. um, the guy who did Juicy. He's a young kid with Marina Nunzinjewa. He's also coming up, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah please do shout him out. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to Malvin Jewa. And with Mitch, Takasu uh, Tangirapa Uchapa. And when we did do Uchapa, what I loved the most when it comes to working with Mitch is the kind of a person he is. Yeah. He is very open to ideas and... I mono I know I know I know adjust. So he's a vibe is I know Nagza Shandana. Because Mona Guti Anon the sister. There's a little pine bajo no anonymous or not you when you do act just do I could ask her but he gives you room to express yourself. I know by chance. <laughs> and then you open also feel out and okay, sorry, I'm gonna do wrong. <laughs> but he's always there like it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. So he's, he's 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 that much of a person, he's not arrogant and moon I any work at thinking on like we agree with we are doing A, B, C, D, we want the video um by by such and such a time to you get your product tip up. I remember Pao Chapa at Nahura Chiti to Wibu Samangwana. He wasn't done with it. So funny my changes I doubt you to we shot that video actually. Tantra Kemper. Say boys. Mitch, uh, his brother, and then my boys, she Tana Kemper for how long? I think 30 days. Also had like a three day, day yeah. staying together. So Dopango Tanga that that relationship as well because you actually get to understand him yeah. as, a, as a person, not just as a video director. And we became friends, the papo. So did you know where I say? It's, it's not just music to tell that he's okay, okay, it's Bobo. When, it, when, 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 we, when we did Gaena, then what after that same touch from him and yeah. that same uh, work process, you know, you go to 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 go to
Kiena was actually, I think, the toughest video I've ever shot. Really? The toughest video I've Why? ever shot because of, um, so I tell you, you know, things weren't just going according according to 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 the plan. I got tina. Tato shika gufe ni shi shika tada kushuti tago yoko ya. And then there's the there's a wedding scene for Gaena. Yeah. So when we arrived there, we thought we'd pack down like a wanda. So we brought in, we brought so many people. And then we get to the venue, and then pani mota about three. Pani mwa saro kwa wewe ane wangu ni shi shi shi. Istiri pa venue, kana ngo nono kwa gupa uku uku. Apa ista garaba venue for like three hours. Yeah. And talk to charge kwa papa the charging per hour. Oh. So marizi das. Because you know, people at the end of the day, one was don't go back to And you know, when it's a stango cigar, that's tough. Yeah. And then the person who's supposed to bring food, I go to a Roman statement that we have. So it was that 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 kind of situation. It was just tense. It was tense in that. It was tense, and without people like Mitch, and that's 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 another video that made me believe in Mitch so much. I gave up. Talk with Shadow, but but I know I better get boss. I'm gonna not say Kura, I'm gonna go. I know you brought all those people, and Mitch is the talk with Shadow, but but I she she yes, you know, no wrong get caught. So I teach you to say come back, chit 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 chit. And, and this is before you even shot, isn't it? We have we haven't started shooting, <laughs> and it's like seven, eight. Kuna na niwa na chetu adenda ba den, you know. It was it was hectic. Ina ngo garamota, wana kwa ndwa rungu ngu ya chita se, ba chipopo ya chidi den. I was I was there like I can't do this. He came, so guys, you know what? You we we are not going through all this for you to just give up now. Yeah. Right? We are shooting this video to be paid the easiest, and. He started coordinating his resources. <laughs> and we, we showed that video. It was it, it's it's a beautiful exactly uh, piece of art. But the energy and get the energy and in this opinion. It was something different. It was, it was great. He's so passionate about his craft. That's why I work with him. Sorry, boys. We just spent a day vibing Tese. We just shot the video. It's another beautiful piece because in is that the one, the Junior Brown, the Junior one? Brown one? Because it's, it's just an authentic uh, video. So yeah. So that's fantastic for two reasons. Um, Gehena, you were crying in that video. So my son came as I was at TK. Entire day. No, you have to. Yes, you have to. 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 That X of yours. Okay, that X. Before that, the situation. Yeah. So that and then just me being me. Yeah. 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 That's becoming the most recent video, uh -huh. so that's that's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last thing we're going to explore before I let you go, because obviously a busy man yeah. album is rolling out, um, is performance. Um, right. You talked about the times I would perform for free. You uh -huh. just go Kuniwanu and you would perform. You you're paying out of pocket uh -huh. to bring Kuniwanu. I go and go hyper and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, an interesting conversation that always tends to come up on Twitter, in the my performance, uh, mm -hmm. promoter relationship artists. Uh -huh. What does what does K Chaps look for in a promotion? What's like a a good in a promoter? What's a good sign of hey man, I can work with this guy, he cares for artists, he's he's got my back. Uh when it comes to the promoters, I think um it just basically respect the artist. Because you brought me, or you want me to come wherever you want me to come for a reason. Yeah. So I think it's it's very um, important for you to just honor the person. You know, make sure I am not signing ads and marry. Make sure the hospitality is you know is is also okay because that also motivates me as the artist. I wanna be able. I want to be comfortable enough to give you an an amazing, great performance. Yeah. But can I do Gununguna if if I'm thinking about uh, other things? Which you know, Naskapa Napa, the delay or Chakacha Kati, I haven't even eaten or you know those kind of things. So the relationship should be just um, 
should be just uh, I think it will be to Fanongo to get the issue to share the right way to, to put it but just basically yeah, what I said let's respect each other let's yeah. respect the craft and also when it comes to the artist side we, I was actually talking about it with my manager with yeah. you know when I started when we started performing we actually thought could you uh, people just want to see you but it's, yeah. it's it's beyond that so when it comes to artists like what we are trying to do right now we're trying to perfect our craft on stage whenever you come to a k sharp show i want you to have uh, an experience yeah you know? i want to take you from point a to point z which has to feel good ah up and down and down that this guy knows what he's doing you, you, be, you, you paid your money to come see me so you should be worth it at the end of the day yeah. but it all starts with the promoter foot because even stage setting you know i've had to do my shows <laughs> uh, i should be able when on a speaker out of choice <laughs> because i'm not a speaker but no because no because no, 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 no space guy <laughs> So automatically look and the bar ukatongo pinda situation ya dadaro. There is no way I'm going to give people a great show. The, the best show, yeah. Yeah. So from stage, from sound, um yeah, it's not stage, sound and what I was saying about the reception in races was like a kosha. Yeah. Yeah. I love that, man. Um, it's not me, it's you, uh -huh. November 14. Thank you so much, Kulokwashe, for doing this. Um, Thank you for... I, I hope we've shown people uh, a different side of you. Yeah, I yeah. think I think this was, this was one of the best interviews. Because it's, it's just natural. It's just authentic. Thank oh. you so much for that. Yeah, <laughs> That's what we're and trying to do as well. Amazing question. <laughs> Thank you, hey. Thank you, hey. So yeah, yeah. November fourteen. Uh, that's it's a it's a great birthday gift for me. It was my birthday yesterday, November seventh. So um, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> but can I can I just can I just um, I, I I didn't mention the the producers on yeah. the album. Oh yeah, let's let's do that as well before so we close off. Shout out to Futronic. He did the general mastering mixing of it. Yeah, I got my beats from Kana Boy. I got my beats from Marty. Marty yeah. beats. He's he's actually excited about that item. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> he's, he's so he high. He gave me he gave me a couple of amazing beats. I think yes, in the other two better my song account and the project. So there's Ooh, Marty okay, beats. That's interesting. And then um, who else is there? Who else is there? Uh, there's uh, McLean. Oh, McLean is yeah, great as well. Now McLean. Um, McLean has done some yeah. interesting stuff with 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 and a pro big shout beats. out to King Chief, yeah, King Chief as well. We shout out to King Chief. Um, so, so, so in regards to that, is it, how does that work to be, with with producers? Uh -huh. What are you, do you look for them? Do they look for you? Like what happens there? It's it's more about the sound, I think. Because pane, like what happened with King Chief, uh, Pagena. Yeah. Or what happens with me in a Kana Boys. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, because Kana Boys done a lot of your yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's it's more of chemistry. Uh boys. When I finally understand the sound, I think K Chaps are Papa no Kwana. At the at the same time, which understand that that sound yeah, K Chaps, you should be able to take me outside the comfort zone yeah. you should be able to put me outside because it uh, shouldn't then the be the same it shouldn't be the same thing. song all the time yeah exactly so with producers uh sometimes i look for them dance one my bits on goji gazira yeah i think um and doshanda knew from there on i think you can do a b c d and then most of those beats, my machine doesn't get my changes. It I think the very part of progression can get like could is ring out so ring out so under accommodate. But yeah. yeah, it's all about sound and chemistry. No man, yeah. that it's good that we didn't forget to 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 mention that because I'm mm. really big on people getting their flowers as well. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So thanks uh, so much for that. <laughs>
<laughs> but no, thank you so much for, for making the time, man. Um, thank you really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.